Welcome to the Myopia Podcast, where we give you the latest myopia research, clinical topics, and industry insights. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all awesome myopia content. And now to our host, a massive myopia manager himself, Dr. David Kading. Hey friends, Dave Kading. Uh, before we get into the show, I wanted to mention that team has supported this particular podcast and I'm really grateful for them reaching out to us. And they mentioned that they would like to give uh, members of the Myopia podcast community a $250 discount off of their first virtual assistant. If you have not considered uh, bringing in a virtual team, uh, I can attest to how wonderful it is. Over the last two years, we've brought in uh, about 10 team members onto our uh, practice. We've used different staffing services and we've had issues over the years with our staff not getting paid, having issues here or there, issues with the communication. And that has been really taken care of since we've joined up with team and their uh, their group of virtual people. Uh, it's been fantastic and I would highly recommend that you consider doing it for your office. They can do things by answer the phone for you. They can uh, check uh, insurances. They can give patients calls. They can check on uh, scribing for you in the exam room and do a host of different things, particularly in the myopia community. It's great to have somebody that can be in charge of these sort of things, checking on those myopic patients, seeing how they're doing, giving them a care call after they've had orthokeratology for a day, uh, and just kind of be a right hand to you in the exam room or to your billing team or your front desk. Consider higher team.com, H-I-R-E-T-E-E-M.com, or click the show notes to get the $250 discount when you sign up. Now back to the show. Thank you for joining us for this episode. I am stoked to be with Anith Play, and uh, he's been on the Myopia podcast before, so it's uh, awesome to have him back. We are at the Vision by Design 2023 meeting, uh, broadcasting live uh, in the exhibit hall. If you are listening to this, we are uh, really encouraging you to look into the Vision by Design 2024 conference that is going to be uh, taking place uh, in Dallas, October 5th, 2nd through the 5th. And uh, so check out the AAOMC's website about that. This is the vision. This is the myopia meeting of the year, uh, Ortho K and so forth. So check this out. Um, Anith, how are you, my man? I'm doing good. It's I'm excited good to, to be it's here. It's good to hang out again. Yeah, we get to do this again. Yeah. Man, last, last time, time was a lot was, of fun. Last time was Zoom yeah. and, uh, and, and over over our computers, so we're doing it in person. And you were on our podcast, the yes. AOMC podcast. Yes, which was a great podcast. And, and, and I was telling you earlier, I was looking at your setup here, I was like, I'm almost embarrassed that no. we had you on ours. <laughs> this, is, no. this is a great setup. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so tell us just a little bit, you have a practice in Houston. Um, tell us a quick little bit about your practice. Yeah, so I practice in Houston. We have three locations. Uh, I have a partner. We brought on a new associate doctor. Uh, we have two practices in the Burbs and then one kind of central. And what I do mostly is specialty contacts, ortho K myopia control. Uh, my partner does vision therapy, low vision. We all do a lot of dry eye. And my associate is now getting the bug. He's, he's kind of getting into specialty in contacts. Yeah. And next step was ortho K. And, uh, I have to put my partner uh, under the bus here a little bit. My associate was supposed to join me at Vision by Design because uh -huh. I wanted to be a part of this amazing meeting. Yeah. And this son of a gun, all right, he decides to just take his honeymoon. <laughs> I mean, who does that, right? Who gets married? Yeah, who gets <laughs> married and goes on a honeymoon? So uh. unfortunately, she's working and I'm doing fun stuff like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I love about your posts on social media, if you don't follow him, check him out. Um, and about your practice from what I see is you guys are innovative. You are, you know, first adopters, you're checking things out, you're finding out how can we better treat our patients. That comes from software designs for orthokeratology, that comes from, you know, you know, text messaging systems like Weave and so forth. I wanted to see if you could uh, share a little bit as you're looking at the present and the future about some some companies that you see are coming into our space and how they're innovating. They're not just doing things the same old way. What what are you excited about, whether for your practice or for new people coming in and, and what's going on? 
What I'm really excited about is how bigger companies are coming into the myopia control space. You know, companies like Johnson and Johnson yep. coming in with their ability platform. Yeah, that's that's such a game changer. To what have is them. it about it that you see as different? Um, well, number one, the recognition that a company of that size is yep. getting into the space, seeing how important it is. Yeah, you know, I always uh, tell my colleagues the biggest issue is not me getting more patients. It's yep. me answering the question, how come I never heard about this before? Right. Uh, that, that's the toughest hurdle I think yep. we do, and I think you'll probably agree with that. Yeah. Uh, as far as their actual platform, I thought what was very interesting about it, and there's, you know, they've adapted it over the course of the last year and a half, two years, and it's going to continuously change, but I thought it was so interesting that it could have a platform where troubleshooting yeah. can be done based off the software as well. Yeah. So that's so important, especially when you're just learning. Yeah. And you're just getting into the myopia control business. And say you have a primary care practice and you know how important it is. But to go over the learning curve of learning a completely custom design, it might take you a year or two to get there. And I think that's a good way to get your feet wet. Yeah, so like doing minus tens like you do with Earth OK <laughs> yeah. or five diopters a cylinder, that's not going to happen just right maybe, away. Maybe don't start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But their yeah. system, you use a topographer, yes. you fit the patient based upon uh, some preset specifications, you order the lenses, it comes back, and then you take a topography of the patient, and then the topography system that is set up it asks you questions, right? Yeah. Based off of what you're viewing, and then it tr helps you with the troubleshooting exactly. if there's a problem. Exactly, and that's what's so unique about it. I didn't see a system like that where there's a lot of platforms where okay, you send a topography, you send a refraction, they'll design something. But as we all know, it doesn't always work on the first design. Right. What do you do after that? How do they help you with that? And while consultants are great, it's so exciting to see software being designed that can actually help troubleshooting cases and exactly like you just mentioned you upload a topography and you make the comments and you say oh you know this this certain situation happened and they'll come up with a way to fix that yeah based on subsequent visits that's that's very exciting that's only going to get better yeah you know uh not very many people are uh are diving into orthokeratology and i think an obstacle is like if it doesn't work perfectly what do i do Right. Right. And so having companies that are making that simpler, right, whether it's a consultant, whether it's a topography driven system because you don't like to talk to people, uh, <laughs> whatever it may be, the innovation and the technology behind it, I think, is hopefully going to reduce those barriers more and more. And, you know, I think ability, I just looked this up, 90% uh, first fit success. Uh, other designs are in the same neighborhood. And so um, when we realize those statistics as a primary care provider who's not doing orthokeratology, you know, I don't think I'm 90% successful with soft multifocal lenses <laughs> on adults, right, for right. presbyopia. Mm -hmm. So that, that barrier of them making lenses that are far more successful initially is also really tearing it down and then bringing technology to make it so that the fitting uh, uh, an adjustment process is easier. You know, I still think we're, you know, we're in the beginning stages of what this technology can really do and how, how much we can do with it. You know, I, I don't know that I'm 90% first fit success in ortho okay either, mm -hmm. not a lot of those because I'm not having minus two, minus walking tens through with the, five through the door. A cylinder yeah, yeah. could be a part of that. That, that could be part <laughs> of it. So I would say, um, when you're starting and you want to have those kind of results, don't jump into those complicated cases. Get, yeah. get you know, start with the simpler cases, get your feet wet, wet on those minus twos, et cetera. Learn how the system works. And I'm just looking across the exhibit, look how many different companies there are. I remember yeah. when I graduated, it was only maybe one or two right. um, that we weren't even aware of. Yeah. And that competition, I think, drives all the companies to go be better. Yeah. There's so many great options. That's what I'm thankful for. Right, yeah. You know, as far as big, big companies with uh, with Cooper Vision's entrance into Absolutely. this, with Bausch and Lomb's entrance into this, uh, on the on the design side, they've always had the material side. And certainly with J&J, &J, that's driving that innovation. Those are big companies. What, what are some smaller companies, some other innovators, um, either a specific company or this is happening and this is an exciting way that we can use technology in our practice. What else are you thinking? Well, as far as just designing for Ortho-K, I've worked with Wave and iSpace a decent yep. amount, and I think 
they really try to push the envelope of what you can do. And mm -hmm. those type of cases that you see me post about, I'm usually utilizing those two companies. So you have a lot more control of what you can do, and uh, it's not a lot of, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Consultant, what do I do? It's like, no, like you're learning what's happening. So there's yeah. a higher learning curve, obviously, but once you kind of conquer that, then you get to get into those cases yeah. that, that I'm telling you about. The other thing that I'm really excited about is how software can help our practice management side, yeah. not just from design. What do you mean by that? So let's say your primary care office and you're starting to do ortho -K and you get a console come in and you tell them the benefits and all right, well, you know, schedule when you're ready. Well, that's not the best way to get those patients scheduled. Having some type of software that can show content to them, deliver videos about myopia control, ortho K, peripheral soft key focus contact lenses, following up on scheduling those appointments, having something that can help help you build your business rather than just relying on you know, staff members following up, because that can be tricky. Yeah. And if you can have something that's automated like that, and there's some great companies that do that, you know, Hoot is one um, that you know that yeah. helps with that. Consulting, I don't even know if consulting is the proper way to say it, but Treehouse Eyes, who implements an yeah. entire program for practice to, to really thrive, yeah. that's really exciting, because that wasn't around right. when I started practicing, right. the business side of it. Yeah, so who in, in Treehouse, you know, have some uh, some text messaging that you can send to patients as well. So pre-educating them, you know, you so and I, we, we answer the same questions every single day yep. to those new consults. And so, you know, if we can get those questions answered in a better way through a video mm -hmm. or through, you know, an actor who is answering those questions and knows how to, how we would want them answered, um, it tends to drive that consultation to a better outcome even faster. Not only that, just funneling those patients that are serious about it, yeah. right? It, it, it eliminates, maybe not 100%, but it'll definitely reduce the number of consults you're doing where they're not planning to book. They're yeah. here to get questions, but they're like, oh, I thought it was covered by insurance, yep. so, or I thought you know, it was only maybe this much. So it really makes those consults more valuable for your scheduling and your timing. Yeah. What else are you? Uh, what else are you excited about in the space uh, that's that's new or that's evolving um, that you think is uh, is exciting? So AI yes. is very exciting uh, in all aspects of life, right? We're you know we were all familiar with ChatGPT and all these other softwares that are out there. Uh, what I'm interested in is you know as you've got to designing your ortho K retainers, and yep. I like to do it a certain way. But we find, okay, there's, you know, 90% of it, you know, I'm kind of doing similar things. Yeah. And this, the software from AI, I mean, it, it's so complex and they can do so many different things. Having that incorporated where I'm not taking 20, 30 minutes to design an ortho K retainer. Right. Where a learning algor algorithm can learn what I'm doing and then now incorporate it, and now that 30 minutes goes to two minutes. Yeah. If we can get to that point, uh, obviously I'd be very excited about yeah. that. Yeah. I think in the realm um, of, uh, of AI, I'm, I'm, I'm actually taking on uh, a new column in Contact Lens Spectrum on AI in Contact Lenses. I oh, can't wait to read it. There's some really exciting things that we're conceptualizing, yeah. uh, and, um, but even now, you know, AI can help us in our myopia management, in our marketing with content creation, yes. right? And that's a great place to be using it. You don't know how to write social media. You don't know how to write things in blogs for your, for your website. Um, you know, you can, you can go to AI and say, hey, give me 10 topics that are the most frequently asked questions around myopia management. You can then take that and make a two minute video or a one minute video about each of those sort of things and then you can upload them and it gives you just the idea, just go through that list and how would you answer that question as a specialist in the area. There's, there's so many avenues that it can be used to help us grow it, our practice. What's so interesting about that is how quickly, th how quickly it learns. Yeah. I remember when I first started interacting with something like ChatGPT, it might have been, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, how long has it been yeah. right now? Uh, not quite that long, but it seems like is it. Is it a year? I don't yeah, know, about a year. There. About a year. 
So I'm just making up dates now. A year and a half, you're close. <laughs> Seems so, longer than that. Yeah, whenever uh, I first started interacting with it, I was just playing with it on random questions, but then I was intrigued for that exact same concept yeah. of okay, what can they do for marketing? Maybe I can have them do some Ortho K blogs, et cetera. And I asked it to write some content on Ortho K. And it was still so neat at that time, and it, it didn't have great stuff. Nothing I would feel comfortable posting on behalf of my practice. Fast forward three months, four months, and it learns. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And imagine six months from now, how, yep. much, how much better it's going to be. Especially if it knows that I'm feeding that information, it's going to know it probably needs to learn that yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. So it, it's uh, exciting. I know for a lot of docs, it's scary. Of, yeah. We're always worried about technology. How's it going to replace us? But you know what? I'll deal with that when it comes around. There's right now, be a right now, I'll utilize it as best as yeah. I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, in closing, anything you're excited for the future that we haven't talked about? Um, there's a lot of really cool stuff happening. Um, we can sit here and brainstorm a lot of different things, but anything in closing? So, uh, you know, as far as Ortho K, we talked about how AI can probably help designing. So, teaching an artificial intelligence algorithm to do things that I do, that's scary, but also will be very time saving for myself. Yeah. We talk about the marketing aspect, and I, I, I'd like to know we're at Vision by Design and Ortho K and Myopia Control Conference, but also just talking about other aspects of where does AI lead us in helping our practice. You know, we're so concerned about how we can take away from the optometrist and how it's going to take patients away, but how can we utilize it to improve patient care? Right. And you know, a lot of it that's being put out there you know, for can be rural areas or patients that have access to direct care, but what about the doctor that's in an urban area, somewhere like me where they have direct access care, how am I now utilizing it to improve my efficiency? And I don't know the yeah. answer to that yet. Not that, yet. That's what I'm thinking about, but I'm excited about it because yeah. I know as technology gets better and the further I delegate things out, so far in my experience, it's only helped me and hasn't helped me. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, but always yeah. a pleasure. Thank yeah. you so much. And thank you for joining us for this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for future episodes. Also, make sure to check out Vision by Design 2024 in Dallas, October 2nd through the 5th. Check out AAOMC's website on further content around orthokeratology and myopia management. Thanks for joining me. Awesome, man. Good stuff. We'll just set this here and yeah, that's fine wherever. That wasn't even put in the right place. Yeah. Good deal. Hot sauce. Awesome, man. Thanks for listening to this episode. I want to again thank Team for their support of this particular podcast. Uh, they have been a great supporter of the Myopia community, helping to uh, make clinicians and offices run better, whether it's calling and scheduling appointments, whether it's answering the phone, helping with billing issues, scribing in the exam room, whatnot. Having a virtual team member in your practice is a real show stopper. So with that, I want to thank team again for their support. Check them out at hireteam.com. That's H-I-R-E-T-E-M.com or click the notes in the show description below. Thanks again to team. One, two, three, four. Thank you for tuning in to the Myopia Podcast. If you enjoy our content, please leave a five-star review and don't forget to subscribe for more great episodes. 